Good morning everybody. It's just gone half six. Uh, I'm in the van, just about to go to work. We've got a job down in Kensington this morning. Replacing, uh, well, actually we're not replacing any, we're putting in a, uh, a bit of FP200 for a fire alarm. It's a, a mist system, a water mist system. Uh, so I've, it's about half six. I've got to go and try and find a wholesaler to pick up a 20 amp Hager breaker, type C Hager breaker. So I'm leaving early because I've got no idea where I'm going to find one of those because um, the usual suspects don't sell them. So let me get started here. I'll find a wholesaler. I'll report back in a second. One drum of FP200, an isolator switch, some fireproof clips, and a C10 breaker. All right. Sorry, mate. I had my uh, I had my radio off in a wholesaler. I'm literally I'm two seconds around the corner, mate. Oh, that's cool. I'm just I'm here anyway. I'm in a parking zone, so it's good. Okay. <laughs> it's not really out of place there, is it? It's not really out of place in that van. <laughs> Renault, relax. It's okay. Come on. There we go. All right, we're in. You good? Yeah. It smells awfully like gas in here. It's, it smells awfully like gas in here. I'm not... Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this is the right house. <laughs> Fuck, yeah. No, it's the wrong fucking, it's the wrong flat. Oh. It's this one. Oh. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> this is the flat. Some poor Sudsy, but <laughs> Yeah, it's <laughs> dialing the police right now. This is the flat. <laughs> that was embarrassing. I've done that before a few times. <laughs> well, it's Monday morning, that's the excuse. Right, now we're sort of all present and correct here. This is a bastard of a little job. I underpriced this, but never mind. There you go. That's life. We live and learn. Front door to said property. Since Grenfell, these, these fire regs have got tighter and tighter and they do, they're, they're clamping down so much when you sell houses now. It's unreal. But basically, this is the, this is the flat. All right. Now, kitchen is over there. All right. Basically, my understanding is, is that at some point in time, there was a stud partition here. There was a stud partition somewhere that basically what happened was uh, that's now been removed and the guy's gone to sell the house and they've realized the stud partition has moved. And they're now saying, well, because that's been removed, we now need to fit a fire suppression system. So fuse board is right behind me, just up here. Uh, that's it there. Uh, it's relatively new. Not sure what happened to, IP ratings there, but never mind. Anyway, that's the board, Hager, right? We've got to put a C10 breaker in there and we've got to run an FP200 from there. This is the difficult bit now. Over this ceiling somehow, okay? The joists run this way, so basically we're gonna cut a hole there, cut a hole there, and the FP200 theoretically will just be, it'll be, oh, it'll basically it'll rest on top because the joists all run this way. So it'll just rest over the tops of the joists. It'll drop down there. And we've got to put a rotary isolator in that cupboard down there, ready for the mist system guys to come in. We could run it in trunking around here, all the way around, and then just put metal P-clips inside the trunking. But to be honest, I think that's just, we're gonna try this way first, because I think it might be easier if we can just drill two holes and we can just put it over the top of the joists. That's the plan anyway, we'll see. All right, hold on, Whoa, I'm out of rods. You're not going to be a million miles away. Yeah, you're there somewhere. You were right there because I could, you could hear it when I was, luckily these down lights had a 70 mil hole and I can, I can fit my hand through a 70 mil hole, but in my younger days, I used to be able to fit it through a 64 mil gap, but uh, not anymore, so. Can you fit through a 64? I can, I can fit my hand through a 70 mil hole because he's a 70. Yeah, I, I can as well, but with the 60 ones, I have to kind of- You have to like morph your hand yeah. into, <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, camera. Oh, oh. <laughs> you got it, yeah? Awesome. Oh, that weren't too bad. I'm actually a bit surprised that we managed to do that. Oh, we only had to make one hole. That's pretty good. We need an unswitched fuse spur. I bought a rotary isolator. Fuck. 
13 amp fused unswitched spur. Yeah. So, all right. Put it halfway, put it somewhere there will do, I think, yeah. You see what I mean? If we just drill a hole in the bottom there, just bring, yeah. we'll just bring it up, put a bit of copex on it, and we'll just take it straight into a fuse spur. I had to go into the wholesale this morning to buy, we've got a drum of FP200, but it's on another job, and I forgot to bring it with me this morning. So I had to buy this. And it's like, um, it's just like a cheap FP200, but it does seem, seems quite nice. I don't even know what brand it is. I bought it from the wholesaler this morning. I don't know, it'll be on the receipt. I'll put the brand of it in the description below when I dig the receipt out. It was 70 quid a drum. Seems quite reasonable. I've sent Dave to go and get the label right around the van. I've got a feeling he's gonna be a while because that van is uh, it's a little bit messy at the moment. This ceiling here is triple boarded, fireboard. What? I don't understand what they, I know, you know, building regs and stuff now, you know, getting tighter and tighter, but triple fireboard, I mean, what? What in God's name is that? I just don't understand <laughs> what's the need, you know? A single layer of fireboard will provide one hour of protection, basically. This is triple, three hour protection, what for? I, don't, <laughs> I just don't understand. I mean, for us, it was handy because I was, when we cut the holes here, I was looking at it thinking, if it's just, stand, if it's just one layer of thin plasterboard, we're gonna have to trunk around the side and put fire clips in, but because it's, we've got, because we've got three layers of fireboard here and joists over the top, we can just run over the top of the joists here, but I didn't really want to start putting trunking around the edges here because it just looks, I think trunking just looks hideous. It's such a, it doesn't matter how neatly you do it, it always looks shit. Lovely job. Yeah, if we head over there this afternoon, um, what needs to be done? Um, half the lights over there aren't working. I don't think we'll be able to do much over there, but if we just head over there, just to calm his nerves, because yeah. we've got to get over to Regent's Park to go and finish that job. It's the same shit, we just keep getting called out there. That's all on now, is it? Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Ah. All I've done in there is just uh, the FP200, put it in a bit of pipe, I'll put a saddle on that now. And it's just an unswitched spur, and that's basically about it. And then there's some sort of the, the water system the, for the mist system here, that sits in there. But there's a, a separate company coming in to do that. But that's all we've got to do, just get power to that. I'll just put a saddle on there and that's it. I'll get out of there. Point three. That'll do, pig. I'm, I'm also NW3, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, not a problem. Why not? How much is your call out? Uh, for things like this, it's generally, I find it's cheaper for the client to do it by the hour for these sort of things. Um, I would imagine yeah. for a job like that, it would probably take an hour, hour and a half max, somewhere around there. My hourly rate is £70 an well, hour. Okay, great. So, uh, that would be brilliant. Is there any chance you would be able to do that um, before this Sunday? Uh, poss uh, possibly. Oh, what the thing is, I've got... A Okay, that's great. I'll do that now. Thank you. All right, no problem at all. And if you let me know, okay. if you just pop in the text your sort of availability, well, what what time your avail what your sort of availability is during the week, that'd be fab. No problem. All right, all right thanks for your time. Thanks. See you in a bit. Okay, bye, bye, bye. Why are you struggling for parking out there? Are you? I've literally just managed to get a spot. Well, I'm literally just stopping to get us a McDonald's quickly. I'm on Finchley Road, so just I'm just literally grabbing us some food now, and then I'll, uh, I'm heading down now, all right? So we can just sit in the van and munch while we wait for a space. All right, food. All right, okay, lunchtime anyway. We're reintroducing you, mate, because uh, they think I'm dead. Yeah, no one gives a fuck about me anymore. They all care about wanting to know where you are. Where's they? Yeah. Seeing as you're no longer a vegetarian, mate, Oh, yeah. You can be christened with a big tasty with bacon. You got any straws? Yeah. No. I bought you Diet Coke because I refused to <laughs> I refused to assist in you rotting away your teeth. So oh, it's okay. diet. I don't mind if you get fat on McDonald's, but just, just a teeth. Just teeth. Yeah, we have some darker clouds coming. There will be snow. I fucking won't, mate. <laughs> I can't wait for you to wake up tomorrow morning. Mate, it's like, six degrees. There's not going to be any snow. When you wake up tomorrow morning and there's about four inches of snow outside. Well, Dave's back, everybody. And you're all, I know you're all wondering. Every time I upload a video, you're all saying, where's Dave? Well, I'm here. 
I'm alive. He is still here, yeah, still here. I haven't run off yeah. or anything. Stealing all my work, yeah. Mm. <laughs> that was doing the rounds in the comments, <laughs> actually, yeah. No, I saw him when yeah. I was off sick. But no, he's still here. Still, we have been working. The only time you've been away was... When I was sick. When you were sick, and that was for two weeks. Mm. About two weeks-ish. Yeah. Because you're in hospital and shit. But that's about it. We've been working together constantly, but not we're not together. You've been on one job, and you've been on I've been one. somewhere else, and then we meet in the middle of the day, get tools and stuff, and then we're off again, just doing, you know. Pretty but much. today we're sort of working, well, half a day, we're working together for the rest of the day now. But yeah, trying to get a job where we're both on the job together and do the That's camera work. Difficult. Just yeah, it's just not <laughs> since isn't it since since we started St Quintins, wasn't it? Since we started St Quintins, yeah. it's just we've not had any October. It was October, October, November. Yeah, it's just busy, isn't it? You you're doing some while you're working. I'm off going doing quotes and stuff. Yeah. It's just like bouncing back. And, and we're just forth. bouncing back. <laughs> That's all it is. Yeah. I've only seen him three times yeah, in the yeah, last yeah. six months. The only time we'll ever see each other soon will be the Christmas party. That's the only other time we'll meet. Yeah. Didn't even see you this Christmas yeah. party. <laughs> That's how busy it was. 